It's been a little while since I've made a video. I've just been really busy with work and other things, but I did want to take a little time and talk about this thing, which just has come out fairly recently, uh, because, well, obviously it fits into my interests very well, being a Java-centric item, but it's also been a little bit controversial for reasons that I will address in a little bit. So let's go ahead and talk about it. This is the Jabba's Palace Adventure Set. This is a Walmart exclusive uh, set that's part of the uh, vintage collection, as you can tell from this vintage-inspired packaging. Uh, it comes with this kind of archway where Han and Carbonite was displayed in Jabba's Palace, but it also comes with uh, these two carded figures, which I think is an interesting aspect and kind of uh, maybe something that sets this apart from some of the other sets that have been released. It comes with uh, Han Solo and Riyiz on cards. So they're just like retail figures, but only available in this set, as far as I know. Now, um, I had some trouble getting this. <laughs> Let me just say that, first of all, because... I pre-ordered on Walmart.com, uh, essentially immediately after it became available for pre-order. But after waiting maybe a month and a half or something like that, I got some ominous sounding messages that said that uh, they were putting it on back order. There was going to be a delay of some kind. But I was, you know, I was pretty confident that I would be okay because I had pre-ordered it way in advance. And, you know, certainly I wouldn't have any problem getting it. But no... They, uh, after a couple more delay notices, ended up canceling my order and the orders of a lot of other people, from what I understand. Uh, apparently, they badly misjudged the demand for this. Now, part of that is to do, I think, with these figures here that uh, make this set more attractive to people who maybe are not so interested in just a Jabba's Palace display, but are interested in maybe being uh, completists in, you know, collecting the carded figures or, or the carded... Uh, you know, the vintage collection figures, a lot of people like those. I have seen pictures, uh, people on eBay with 12 of these stacked up that they're trying to sell for $120. Now, these originally retailed for $50, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> seeing, you know, someone who's uh, had their order canceled, that's a very frustrating thing to see. They didn't put any kind of uh, limits on the number that people could buy, apparently. So, uh, anyway... I went ahead and went on eBay, got one of these from a, a seller in China, uh, I guess, I don't know what, you know, what the story is behind that, um, whether they were people from the supply chain who were, you know, selling a few under the table or, or something, I don't know, but uh, I got it for a little bit less than what some of the American scalpers were trying to sell it for, so there's that, but it's still practically double what it should have been. So I'm a little annoyed by that. I was going to buy two of these just to have one to open and one to keep. Um, now, if this does come back, as the rumors are currently indicating, if it you know it does come back to, to Walmart for normal price, I'll probably buy another one. But at this point, this is all I have. So we're going to take a look at this. Um, as you can see, I, I mentioned that it's got the vintage collection packaging here. It actually has uh, this on both sides, this image. But on the back, it's a little bit of a different composition. Um, not that you'd really notice, but, you know, like the Disney and Hasbro logos are not on the front, but they are on the back. Um, other than that, you know, it's just sort of rearranged a little bit. It is interesting, though, that they have the four languages on all of these, you know, like even the ones, I guess, as far as I can tell, that were sold in, in the U.S. Uh, have foreign language uh, on all of them, so, you know... I guess they're just using this package for all of them throughout the entire world. Mine here, if you look on the top, uh, of course, has this other view of the pa of the uh, the product here with a bunch of other uh, figures that are not included, but also has this uh, Chinese sticker here about. Uh, I guess you know, looks like it's got some warnings and, and import information and things like that. Um, it does say all other figures not included and may not be available for sale, which is sort of a similar to uh, similar message to what we saw on the sale barge. And on the bottom, we also have another view. So we've got like, what, three or four different uh, shots of this same 
uh, archway thing, which is kind of interesting to see. So, I have not opened this up yet. Uh, I would like to go ahead and do that. And we'll come back in a minute and we'll see what's inside here. See if it's worth all the excitement and uh, difficulty I had getting this actually in hand. All right, so if we open up the package from the side and pull it out, we see that it's all kind of in a cardboard uh, container here. And we've got, looks like both of the cards here sort of wedged in the top. And then on the bottom, we have the actual archway itself. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just dis disassemble this and see what it looks like when it's properly arranged. All right, starting with the central archway, we have uh, this nice arch here with this uh, sort of decorative, I don't know if it's supposed to be lettering or just a design, but it, it looks pretty cool there. Uh, in fact, if we look at this entire thing, uh, in terms of the paintwork, it's it's got a lot of paintwork that you might not see on uh, the typical sort of Hasbro toy. They've got a wash over the entire thing. They've got paint here and even underneath. You can see, I, I don't know if this is paint or if it's a uh, separate pieces of plastic, but it's it's a different color anyway. It looks good. We've got uh, on the top as well some sort of vents or something that have painted a different color. I guess we should take a look at the back. Not a lot going on in the back there. Uh, I think you're supposed to kind of face this away from the viewer, but they did manage to at least put the uh, the wash on it. Now, one of the most interesting parts of this particular piece, in my opinion, or this, this product as a whole, is that it comes with these uh, heads here, these trophies that sort of go alongside with the other trophy in the center being on carbonite. Uh, now these actually were from the movie. You, you can see if you look closely and maybe sort of bump up the brightness of some of the Jabba's Palace scenes, that he does have a Tauntaun head and a Jerba head right there. And uh, I really like that they have included this. I don't think this has been included in any other uh, toys, anyway. They're, they did make a um, Jabba's Palace bookend set from uh, Gentle Giant, which is really, I mean, they call it bookends, but it's really just sort of an excuse to make a almost an environment piece for some of their other uh, statues of the same scale. And th those did include the Tauntaun uh, head and some other details like that. But in terms of toys, I don't remember this ever being uh, something that we've had. So that was exciting for me. <laughs> yes, I get excited about strange things. Now, in addition to the central piece, we get these two other archway pieces, which are not the same. They have different details. And they've also been given the wash, and they've got this cool kind of ductwork that's been painted in the inside, which I really like because they could have just left the back unpainted and unfinished and they didn't, so that's that's cool. Now these have these sort of indentations here that can fit in to these on the sides of the central archway. So if you want to have it like that, push that back, you can have it like that, or you can also attach them to the front. Let me see if I can get this off of here. So if you wanted it like that, you could do it that way. So you do have some flexibility with how you want to display this, which is nice. So for now, I think I'm gonna put this back the way it was. And we'll take a look real quick at the figures as well. Now these are the ones that I just took out of the packaging here and you can see, my Han and Carbonite is rather bent. You bent my Han and Carbonite. This uh, there's nothing that, you know, a little, I don't know, bending backwards wouldn't solve, I think. In fact, I think I've already done it. But, you know, it's just something to be aware of that the way they package it, it could potentially have a little bit of uh, damage to it. So these are, of course, the standard Vintage Collection carded figures, uh, Reese and Hansel and Carbonite. I don't know enough about these to know if these are... They look like reissues of existing ones that they've kind of, you know, prettied up a little bit. Uh, but, I, you know, maybe someone can chime in 
with the details there. Uh, it's got sort of the standard vintage collection stuff on the bottom, on the back here. In fact, I think these are both identical. So, uh, I kind of debated whether or not I should be opening these, but ultimately, I think it's kind of dumb to have this uh, archway and not have Han to uh, display in it. So I'm going to go ahead and open them and, you know, hopefully I can get another set of these later on. But it's not the end of the world if I can't. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on this any more than I already have. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what they look like. I'll start with Rigi's. Uh, look away if this is painful for you. For you non-openers out there. So, wow, that has uh, quite a strong paint smell. Comes with a couple of weapons. And, yeah, he's a pretty good looking figure. Let's see if we can get a little closer look. There he is. I know that they released a reused figure figure a while back that I was not able to get for whatever reason. So maybe that is what this is and it's just a reissue of it. But anyway, uh, they don't give him any kind of a holster, apparently. So if you want him to have these weapons, he's going to have to hold them both. Pew, 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 pew. So I'll put him over there. And here we have Han. There we go. That's nice. I do like this. I mean, this one feels like a bit of a, a better deal because you're getting not only Han, but you're getting Han and Carbonite, which feels fairly substantial. It's, uh, I mean, it's hollow, I'm sure, but it's, at least it's not just a shell, like the front part of the shell. It feels like it's a, a complete um, object unto itself, which is nice, and it looks really well painted. Uh, I guess sort of this part, the darker color here is just the color of the plastic and then I think they've put paint on the uh, the face there the part where Han actually is and of course some of the details pretty nice so we're gonna look how that uh, looks in the in the gateway in just a second but we'll also want to take Han out he comes with his uh, little handcuffs here what do you call them bracers See if we can get those off. Just a second here. Binders, that's what they call them. <laughs> Sorry. So we've got uh, this tiny one, which I guess would be for his arms. And then are these for his, for his legs, yeah. So I'm not going to try to put these on right now, but um, looks like a pretty decent figure of Han. Nothing groundbreaking really, but, uh, you know, nice to have for when he thaws out. All right. I'm going to take just a second here to figure out how this mechanism works for the Han and Carbonite. There's actually a little thing in the back there which you can see that helps you uh, sort of attach it. So I'll be right back and show you how it looks. So if we look at the very small instruction sheet that comes with this, you can see that it explains that not only how to attach those sections, but also that if you uh, want to attach the carbonite block to the wall, you do that, and then there's a lever in the back that you can move it up and down with. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the point of moving it up and down is, but we'll take a look at that. One very cool aspect of this that I wasn't even really aware of is that this uh, attaches with a magnet. There's a magnet right here, I guess, on the other side, and a magnet in here, I assume. And when you put them together, it just stays there and it, you know, floats there essentially without having to sort of push it on a peg or anything like that, which is a really nice touch. I, I fully approve of that. Now, as it said, there's this lever in the back, which causes this thing, which has the magnet, I assume, to move up and down. If you have it up, you have him sort of like that. <laughs> he does move around a fair amount if you do that, but um, you have him floating. If we move the lever down, he comes down. 
I guess, you know, like when you're defrosting him, you know, you kind of bring him down or something like that. It just moves up and down by about a centimeter, though. It's not anything too impressive, but still, it's kind of nice that they added that kind of attention to detail. And I'll have to say, you know, this is a great looking environment. I, I think, especially for the price that they were selling it at originally, which is about $50, uh, and when you include the the two carded figures as well, this is a very good deal. Um, I fully approve of it. Unfortunately, as I said, uh, it's not, at this point anyway, so easy to get a hold of. Uh, I don't know if I would... Well, I did pay <laughs> close to double that. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't pay more than that probably, but... Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's unfortunate that it's it's so difficult to, to find at this point. Uh, if you do want this, I would probably suggest just sort of being patient and hopefully seeing that if uh, Walmart will restock this. I have a feeling that they will. There was a, an article recently um, sort of indicating that there, that there would be a restock of this just because they had not expected it to fly off the shelves the way that it did. So, yeah, uh, try not to reward the scalpers if you can. Uh, I didn't want to either, but, you know, I kind of wanted to make a video of this while it was still relevant. So, in any case, uh, let's go ahead and put the little archway pieces back. Let's see here. I guess you could put them even backwards, couldn't you, now that I think about it? Um, if you wanted those pipe parts to show, but it's a little weird having this this stuff show in the in the front, so probably won't be doing that. Um, put these here, and we'll pose Han here. Now I guess, hmm, can you put this like that? You could put it like that and have it be him coming out of it, I guess, right? And then we'll have Reese off to the side. So yeah, I, I give it my uh, seal of approval. If you can get it for a reasonable price anyway. That's about it for now. I hope to have more videos coming up fairly soon, but I've been so busy recently it's difficult to make promises. In any case, I appreciate you watching and may the force be with you.